What's up guys? It's me again, Anmarev, with a new video. So today's video is the second Know the Character episode. <laughs> so today's episode, I'm going to be tackling about Laboon from the long-running anime series One Piece. So that's that, and guys, don't forget to subscribe, because again, as what I said from my last video, I will be doing a motherfucking anime figurine giveaway. So as what I said, I'm going to be doing that giveaway once I hit 1,000 subscribers, so guys, please help me and be sure to subscribe after watching this video or right now, and don't forget to leave a like and share this video too. And I hope you guys enjoy, and here we go. Laboon is a large whale who is from the West Blue, and you may remember him as the whale whom the Straw Hats encountered when entering the Grand Line. So 50 years ago, Laboon met the Rumbar Pirates after becoming lost and separated from his pod, and he began following them because he was lonely. After a while, the Rumbar Pirates noticed how sad Laboon looked, so they decided to cheer him up with a song and as a result, Laboon got rid of his sadness and followed them. The Rumbar Pirates eventually got attached to Laboon because they think he was cute. I mean, just look at that innocent poor baby whale with that beautiful eyes and smile. Who wouldn't get fucking attached to that thing? After a while, Brooke was feeding him and he eventually named him Laboon. Laboon eventually became accepted as a crew member and even aided them when the Rumbar Pirates were attacked and some of its personnel fell aboard and no one else could help them. Despite Laboon being a crew member when the Rumbar Pirates decided to go to the Grand Line, they chose to leave Laboon behind because he was still a baby and he might not be able to endure the difficulty level of the Grand Line. However, Laboon refused to leave them and Yorkie, their captain, ordered them to ignore Laboon so that he wouldn't follow them. But when the Rumbar Pirates finally entered the Grand Line, they found out that Laboon had followed them much to their surprise. After repairing their ship, the crew finally say goodbye to Laboon, promising him that they would return in 2-3 to three years after having traveled around the Grand Line. During those years, Laboon patiently waited for them at the Grand Line's entrance under the care of Crocus, who mans the lighthouse that introduces the travelers to the Grand Line. After many years passed by without the return of the Rumbar Pirates, Crocus decided to travel with the Roger Pirates to become their doctor and to discover what happened to Laboon's crew. When he returned, Crocus told Laboon that his friends abandoned him by fleeing the Grand Line through the Calm Belt. Crocus had cared for Laboon ever since his friends left him and tried to make him understand the situation. Although Laboon already knew the truth about his friends and he refused and kept denying to himself that they were gone. His strong will and determination was led by a blind ambition to see his friends again, clinging on to what little hope he had for their safety. Because of this, he tried to break through the red line so he could get to the West Blue and rejoin his friends. Then let's go back to the time when the Straw Hats entered the Grand Line. After entering the Grand Line, Laboon was the first thing the Straw Hats pirates saw. After launching a cannon in hopes of slowing the going merry down, Luffy hit Laboon instead and after saving Laboon from Mr. Nine and Miss Wednesday, who were trying to lab use Laboon for food, Crocus then explained to Luffy why Laboon would slam his head into the red line. Luffy, in an effort to give Laboon a renewed sense of hope, picked a fight with Laboon by jamming the going merry's mast into the whale's head. After the battle, which Luffy called out a draw, Luffy promised Laboon that he would return to see him under the guise of wanting a rematch which moved Laboon to tears of joy. As a sign of the promise of the future rematch, Luffy painted the Straw Hat's Jolly Roger on Laboon's head, commenting that the paint would wash away if Laboon hits his head on the red line or reverse mountain. This prevented Laboon from hitting his head any further. Laboon and the Straw Hats then parted ways as the crew departed for the Grand Line. Moving forward after Brook joined the Straw Hat Pirates, Laboon was seen with Crocus with the Jelly Roger and damage. Crocus commented on how Laboon seemed to be in good spirits, which Laboon replied with a triumphant roar, as if knowing that the Straw Hats and Brook would return. I'm so fucking rooting for this reunion to happen and I honestly couldn't wait no more. More than 50 years of waiting and I hope it would be all worth it in the end for Laboon. And I'm just waiting for that rematch as well. And of course, the Brook part is obviously gonna be another tearjerker for us One Piece fans. So yeah, fuck. 
So guys, that's the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like and help me reach that 1k, please. <laughs> for That's also for the figurine giveaway if I reach 1k. So see you guys on the next episode of Know That Character and hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Here's...